coming up in just a little bit. But first, an emotional day. A woman charged with stealing from a Monroe County charity makes her first court appearance. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton was in court. She's live with the details tonight, Lisa. Well, the charity raised money to help soldiers who fought in Iraq. Part of the donations were used for this war memorial here in Monroe, others for college scholarships. But police now accuse one of the women who raised some of that money of stealing. Renee like Seeger faced the judge for a matter of minutes today. Kelly Greer choked back tears afterwards as she talked about the months of her pain and grief. And I never thought somebody could do this to what my foundation stood for. I mean, this foundation is built on the freedom we have here in America. And for somebody to not only rip my heart out, but the whole communities. She took advantage of my sister. My sister was almost where she could go back to work and cope with life again. And now she's right back to where she was, right down, you know, back in therapy, having a nervous breakdown. It's just, it's, it's very hurtful. Greer's son, Nicholas, was killed while fighting in Iraq in 2005. Shortly after that, she started a foundation to raise money to help local soldiers serving in Iraq. The money raised by the foundation paid to build this war memorial and a scholarship fund at Monroe Community College. She's never spoken to me by phone, nothing. She's never even said, I'm sorry. She told my sister, she said, um, I was looking for the right time to tell her. There was never a right time to tell me that you were stealing money. Never. Seeger is charged with embezzlement. Greer says she thinks about $8,000 is missing from the foundation. We interviewed Seeger in 2006 when she was the co-executive of the Nicholas Greer Foundation. By you buying a brick lets us know that you support our cause for supporting our men. Seeger waived her preliminary exam in court today. She is scheduled back in court in May. Greer and her sister want Seeger to serve time. Greer says the foundation will continue raising money for college scholarships. Reporting live in Monroe, Michigan, Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News. We have new details today.